Welcome to Experian Exchange, a new series featuring exclusive interviews with all the latest news and insights with Experian's business leaders. Experian Exchange will give you access to the latest thinking from inside the world of Experian, covering everything from finance to fraud and even technology to transformation. Welcome to Experian Exchange, I'm Dalarani. Innovation is more than just a buzzword. In fact, if a company is committed to a robust innovation agenda, they can make a big difference on a global scale. Well, someone who's had significant success in this area is Lloyd Pitchford, Global CFO at Experian, and he joins us now to share his insights. Welcome to the program, Lloyd. Great to have you with us. Thanks, pleasure to be here. So I know firsthand that Experian has really built innovation as a big part of its culture. Tell me, how have you gone about doing that? I think when you think about innovation, um, it's about unlocking the problems uh, that our customers and consumers in, uh, in society have. So we've really tried to free up our employees to focus and be inspired to solve problems for our, uh, our customers and consumers. And there are a lot of problems to solve. Mm -hmm. If you look globally, there's over a billion people who don't have access uh, to normal financial products because they can't prove their identity. Mm -hmm. And we know that uh, in North America, there's over 50 million people that can't access financial products, again, just because there's a lack of data available to establish a trusted relationship. So getting all of our people inspired, motivated, and freed up to focus on solving those problems, that's really the first step in the innovation journey. So tell me a little bit more about those problems. What are some of the big global problems that Experian is really helping to tackle using innovation? So I, if you look at some of the biggest problems in society, the lack of access to a normal financial system, there is over a billion people globally that are locked out of the financial system because they don't have access to just normal products that we would take for granted every day. And the heart of that is data. Ultimately, it's data that allows a trusted relationship between a supplier and a consumer to be established. And that's what, where we can help. We have um, access to huge data sets, but also the technology that can unlock other data sets. Mm -hmm. Some great examples here. Uh, when we launched Experian Boost a number of years ago, that unlocked the power of the data in somebody's bank account. We've now got over 15 million people sharing their data regularly through their bank account that allows them to gain access uh, to uh, financial products in a way that they wouldn't have previously been able to do. And we've taken that on a level with Experian Go that allows somebody to build their first credit file the first time that they've they would have access to uh, mainstream financial products uh, through that. And then this year, this last year, we launched Experian Smart Money, which is a digital checking account where somebody shares the data uh, associated with that checking account with us, again, which unlocks other financial benefits. So you can see how over time, the innovations that we launch build on each other. Yeah. And uh, we're really excited about what we can do. And you see, really see the evolution of something that has been successful in, in tackling this issue of financial inclusion. Experian is a global company. We operate in global markets across different industries. Do you have any examples you can share of perhaps the impact you've had on other regions, not just outside of North America as well? Yeah, the problem of financial inclusion and uh, of proving your identity to a um, uh, a financial uh, provider is, uh, is common across uh, the world. In Brazil, we're, uh, uh, we have uh, one of the leading uh, companies in Brazil in the financial system, and we, we help people resolve their debts. So it's a, it's a fairly unique um, support system that we have inside Brazil. Last year alone, over $14.5 billion of debts were resolved, and about 10 billion of that were written off by helping consumers resolve old debts that were holding them back in their financial journey. $14.5 billion of debt resolved. Ab resolved in just one, one year. year. And wow. in, the, in the UK, we have something called the Support Hub, which helps people uh, who share their support needs. It could be uh, that they have trouble understanding um, uh, financial terms. It could be um, uh, uh, trouble understanding words or, or hearing or sight difficulties. And they can share those needs uh, with supplies so that they can interact with them in a way that where they feel supported. Again, a completely different societal challenge that data uh, can help and that we can help with. So, so do you mean that somebody, for example, that might be hearing impaired could let providers know that and they don't get phone calls? Exactly, exactly. So it helps people 
explain and share their support needs so that um, it's clear to a provider how that person uh, should be interacted with so that they can understand the support that they're trying to get. Lord, I mean, we are seeing so many developments in technology right now, so many rapid advancements. How do you, how do you keep up with those trends and, and keep, you know, making sure that Experian is innovating and staying ahead of these rapid developments and rapid advancements? It all starts with talent and culture. Yeah, we have 22,500 colleagues globally. And our job every day is to make sure that those colleagues are freed up to work on the problems that a society has and their, their customers have. And if we do that, the ideas don't come from us. They come from all of our, our, our colleagues around the world who are innovating on behalf of their customers. So what are the top three things that you're focusing on in the coming years? They're, they're the same three things we've been focusing on, actually. Getting the best and broadest access to data. We know that there's power in that data to help people in their financial lives. Putting it on the best technology, and technology continues to advance it and it unlocks value uh, for consumers in their data but that's not enough you have to have the best talent so best data best technology best talent and if we can wrap all those together with our innovation culture and management system um, i think we'll surprise people with what we can do well it's brought you this far right so it's going to take you into the future i think so <laughs> Lord Pitchford, great to talk to you thank you so much for joining us thank you We hope you enjoyed this episode of Experian Exchange. Please subscribe to get access to all the videos in this series. To learn more, go to experian.com forward slash exchange.